Cell phones are ubiquitous in modern society. Everyone has one, and we all rely upon them for different things. To send and receive calls, text messages, take photographs, search the internet, and even engage in social media. Because cell phones have become such a well-known aspect of modern life, they have become a treasure trove for law enforcement in connection with criminal investigations. Today, I would like to describe for you the five categories of evidence that police are able to obtain from cell phones. First, toll data. Cell phone toll data may be obtained by police from your cell phone carrier. Toll data would include details on calls made and calls received from a particular cell phone number, the numbers to which calls were made or from which they were received, and the same for text messages. The dates and times are also provided. Toll data may be obtained about your cell phone by police upon issuing a subpoena to your cell phone provider. The second category of cell phone evidence is called pen register data. Pen register data is similar to toll data. In order to obtain it, police must issue a subpoena to your cell phone carrier. And upon doing so, police will then be able to learn and discover in real time those calls that are being made from a particular cell phone as well as the calls received and the same goes for text messages. The difference between toll data and pen registered data is that toll data is historical in nature, meaning calls and texts that were made in the past, whereas pen registered data relates to calls and texts that are made in real time. Cell phone evidence is becoming increasingly popular in criminal prosecutions. If you've been charged with a crime and you believe that the case against you consists of any of the five types of cell phone evidence, please call me for a free consultation.